At the recent Supercomputing Asia event in Singapore, we had the opportunity to speak with a number of people who are using supercomputing in order to solve real-world problems. This is the third of those interviews, and Brian is speaking with Gia from Nurture.ai about what his company is doing in the artificial intelligence space in Asia. We're here today with uh, the founder and CEO of uh, Nurture.ai here in Singapore, uh, Gia. Welcome. Thank you very much for talking to us. And can you tell us a little bit about Nurture AI and what it's all about? So Nurture.ai is a platform for AI, collaborative AI research. Um, essentially, half of AI, around half of AI research papers out there nowadays don't come with good implementations. And if uh, AI research paper doesn't come with good implementations, there's a um, it creates a big reproducibility problem in the field, and um, that's what we are here to solve. Um, Natural AI um, crowdsources open source good implementations of AI research papers, and also allows um, the the users of the platform to discuss and collaboratively um, look at how we can advance the AI research field. And so, when that happens, um, are researchers uh, collaborating as they're creating and doing their research, or does it happen afterwards and they say, here's the code, or, or is it both? Yeah. So, we see, um, I would think it's both. We see different um, forms of collaboration. Very soon, we'll be launching a feature where a researcher can open up a call for research or a call for research collaborations on AI research, and they, through, through that, they can find collaborators. Also, um, when because researchers can highlight any part of a research paper to start a comment thread on that, if they see a particular area for improvement to extend a particular research paper, they can um, comment that idea and find collaborators, collaborators to work with. For example, the the author of that particular paper that they are they are trying whose whose research they are trying to extend. Yeah, does does collaboration? I mean, AI is such a new field. I mean. Uh, it, it, how is collaboration helping uh, the field itself progress? Yes. So, um, if the the big part on collaboration um, that the the greatest potential we see is in open source code implementations, the the problem um, the reason why is because if um, if many research papers don't come with code implementation, every time a researcher wants to depend on any particular piece of research, they have to re-implement the entire um, code, uh, research paper just to verify its reproducibility. And that's a lot of repetitive work for lots of researchers across the world. Um, if there are existing um, high, uh, accessible open source code implementations that researchers um, that other researchers can just really use, then it really saves much more time for the researchers to verify reproducibility of previous research papers and allowing them to focus on, um, res um, on, on the research work that's novel and um, that helps extend the field in the future. Excellent. And, and we were talking earlier and you were, you were saying that Nurture AI is a sponsor of AI6. So, um, can you tell us a little sure. bit about that competition? Yeah, sure. So um, AI6 is a global community. Of, um, it's, you can think of it as a study group of people meeting it's in, uh, meeting up every Saturday to go through um, lecture materials and courses from Stanford and universities like Stanford and UC Berkeley. Um, we go through the most cutting-edge deep learning courses from those and reinforcement learning courses from those universities. Um, they also get hands-on code implementation exercises and it's all free and staffed by volunteers. Um, it's in more than 50 cities around the world right now. Um, AI6 challenge is um, what a uh, challenge that we partnered with the National Supercomputing Center in Singapore to organize for the Singapore chapter of AI Saturdays. Um, what AI, um, this challenge does is to challenge um, the participants of AI6 to just come up with any project or that is of high impact and that can make good use of um, of high compute power that's um, kindly sponsored by the National Supercomputing Center. Yeah. Well, we've seen a lot of really interesting projects here. Gia, thank you so much for thank talking so to much. me today. Thank we you. really appreciate it.